So the other day I was talking to a friend of mine and we were discussing the master bus. Let's say the master bus had no plugins. Where should our levels be? Of course, this all ties into game staging. And I've talked about that in the past and it's extremely important. Here's what happens. You got your monitor set all the way up. Your audio interface volume knob is at 100%. You got this mix going. It sounds good to you. But then you look at your master bus and your levels are all the way down here. Now, here's the problem. You send that off to the mastering engineer. If you have these plugins with noise and all of that stuff, the minute the mastering engineer decides to bring that up, guess what? All of that's going to come right out. So too low, you might hear some of that noise. A little too high, you're going to clip. So you want to find that sweet spot. So you want to open any limiter. I'm using this one because it's one of my favorites. You want to take the ceiling and you want to change it to minus 1 dB. Here's what this is going to do. It's going to avoid clipping. So if I press play, I'm pretty sure I can bring it up a little bit more, but I'm fine where it's at. Now I have a template. And whenever I import that template, all of these settings are already all set up. I don't think about it. If I'm starting a mix from scratch, meaning all faders down, this helps a lot. Now, if you're getting a rough mix from somebody else, that mix is incredibly loud. Then you might run into some issues, but all you have to do is group everything, bring it down a couple of dBs, and you should be fine. So just remember, guys, if you mix all the way down here, all that noise at the bottom, you're going to bring all of that up. You don't want that. And if you mix all the way up here, close to the ceiling, the mastering engineer really isn't going to have a lot of headroom. So again, you have to find that sweet spot. And once you do, you'll be fine.